Superstar Athletes, it's Coach Skyly here. I can't believe that it's already our last week of the program. We've had so much fun exploring so many cool new sports. We did running, tennis, basketball, ballet, soccer, and field hockey. Which one has been your favorite so far? It's so cool that there are so many different sports to choose from, and we never have to choose just one. We can try any sport we want at any time. Today's sport is one that can be played indoors on a court or outdoors in the sand. Can you guess? It's time for some volleyball. Back to our friends at the Toronto Pan Am Sports Centre to learn all about it. The land I am standing on today is the traditional territory of many nations including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabek, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat people and is now home to many diverse First Nations, Inuit and Métis peoples. Hi everyone, my name is Lindsay. Today along with Rowan, we'll be teaching and demonstrating the fundamentals of volleyball. The goal of this video is to learn foundational movements for volleyball, develop hand-eye coordination, and work on the large muscle groups required for volleyball, as well as many other sports. We're gonna to start today with a warm-up specifically designed for volleyball, then move into some drills to emphasize correct volleyball form. After that, we'll explore some starting positions and some movement drills aimed to mimic more of a game-like scenario. Finally, we will finish with a little challenge. Before you begin, you will need running shoes, loose-fitted clothing, and a water bottle to stay hydrated during the activity. You'll also need a volleyball or a medium-sized ball, as well as a smaller ball that's similar in size to a tennis ball. Once you have your equipment, we're gonna get started. When we begin any physical activity, we always wanna start with a general warm-up. The warm-up is an important part of the workout to prepare the body and reduce the risk of injury. The purpose of a general warm-up is to raise our body's temperature to increase our energy levels. A good indication of a proper general warm-up is to start to build up a bit of sweat. So the goal of our warm-up today is to prepare our muscles and joints for volleyball activities. We'll com complete each movement out to the cone about 15 meters away, and depending on the amount of space you have available, you can warm up in a smaller area by moving in a circle, in a straight line, whatever's available to you. Our first warm-up activity is a lateral shuffle. When you're moving laterally, you're bringing your feet together, bending your legs, and going back and forth. Okay? Rowan, you want to give it a try? Go ahead. Good. And back. Now make sure you stay low and your movement is forward when you're doing this. So we want it to mimic the movement when you're playing volleyball. Okay? Next, we're gonna do some walking lunges. So we're gonna step out, bend, and come back up. Step out, bend, and come back up. With a walking lunge, you wanna keep your knee behind the toe on the foot that's in front, and try and stay balanced through the whole movement. Rowan, do you wanna give it a try? Bend, and back up. Bend, and back up. Now let's do your other leg on that side. So bend, and back up, bend, and back up. For volleyball, you also wanna make sure you have really good ankle and foot strength, so we're going to do some walking. The first walk is tiptoe walks. So you're gonna go up as high as you can on your toes and take very small steps all the way to the cone and then all the way back. Do you wanna go ahead? As high as you can, good. and try and keep your knees together and your heels together. So you wanna make sure everything is in a straight line. Next, we're gonna do heel walks. So you're gonna put pressure on your heels and stick your bum out a little bit when you're doing these walks. So we're gonna go back and forth to the cones. And all the way back. Next, we're gonna do walking hip openers. So you first take a step, lift a knee, open your hip, and bring your foot back down. Step with the opposite foot, lift your knee, open your hip, and bring it back down. It'll look like this if I'm walking towards you. Step, knee, open, down. Step, knee, open, and down. Rowan, do you wanna give it a try? Step, knee, open, and down. Step with the other foot, knee, open 
and down. Step, knee, open, and down. Good, and then we'll go back to the other cone. This helps to open your hips, which get very tight with all the forward leaning, all the flex position in that athletic stance when you're playing. Okay, this is a stationary warm up, so we're going to do some leg swings here. We're gonna start with forward and backward, so you can either hold on to a wall or you can hold on to your partner's shoulder if you have somebody to do this with. But you're gonna balance on one foot and you're gonna swing your leg forward and back about 10 times each leg. So I'm starting with my left leg here. I'm gonna switch sides. I'm gonna to move to my right leg. Once I'm done this, I'm gonna swing my leg side to side. So I'm gonna start facing the wall. I'm gonna bring my leg through and out, through and out. And I'm gonna do my right leg the same way. And again, about 10 each leg, forward and back and side to side. Rowan, do you wanna give it a try? So swing forward and back about 10 times and then switch sides, other hand on the wall and swing forward and back. And then we'll do side to side. So two hands on the wall, pick a leg, go in and out, in and out. And you wanna try and get your leg as high as you can when you're doing these swings to get a full stretch. Okay, our final warm up is shoulder circles. We do a lot of shoulder movements in volleyball, so we wanna make sure our shoulders and our shoulder joints are nice and warm. So we're going to roll our shoulders back and walk as we do it to keep our body moving. So shoulders rolling backwards. And then as we come back, we're gonna roll our shoulders forwards. So it's a shrug up to the ears and a continual movement around in that circle. And we can do it as we're walking. Good job. At this time in your workout, you should begin to feel your body warming up and your energy levels rising. Are you starting to feel warmed up? Are you starting to sweat, Rowan? Yeah, me too. Now that we've completed our warm up, we're gonna move into some volleyball specific drills. The goal of today is to try and break down a few skills fundamentally. We're gonna start by focusing on posture, positioning, and hand-eye coordination. Our first set of drills is gonna focus on bumping or underhand passing, volleying or overhand passing, and serving. Make sure you have enough space in the area you're working with and that there's nothing around that you can break. So first we're gonna work on our underhand pass and we're gonna use a smaller ball similar to a tennis ball. I have a soft tennis ball here. Um, you can use whatever is around the same size that you have at home. So for this drill, we're gonna get into an athletic stance. So your knees are bent, your hips are slightly flexed and your ankles are flexed. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one person toss the ball to you and you're going to move your arms and your hands to catch the ball as if you were underhand passing or bumping the ball. When you're underhand passing, you wanna make sure your wrists are together, your hands are together as well, and you're moving your entire body in a forward motion. All right, you wanna try it? Okay, so what we're gonna do is, Rowan's gonna go into her athletic stance. She's gonna bend her knees a little bit, flex at the hips, flex at the elbows. She's gonna keep her wrists together and her arms straight, and I'm gonna to toss the ball to her and she's gonna catch it. Okay, and then Rowan's gonna pass it back to me as if she were bumping. So throw it back, perfect. And then we're gonna do it again. And I'm gonna start, that's okay. Pack it up, pick it up, and then pass it back. Okay, and then I'm gonna start to move her a little bit side to side with each pass. And she's gonna try and keep her arms straight every time she catches it. If she needs to bend her knees a little bit more, if it's lower, she can do that or if she needs to stand up a little bit, if it's higher, she can also do that. 
For this drill, the toss is very important. So make sure you are tossing just in front of the child's knees so that they can move in that forward momentum. Try one more time. There we go, and pass it back. Ooh, perfect. Now, if you don't have a partner with you, you can also do this on your own if you have a wall. As you see, we have a wall behind us. You can take your tennis ball and you can throw it directly in front of you and catch it with your arms straight and in your athletic stance, just as you would with your partner. Throw it against the wall and catch the ball. Rowan, do you wanna give it a try? Come a little bit closer. So just a light toss to the wall and then catch it. Good, try it again, maybe a little bit harder. There you go, try one more time. And you gotta try and catch it. So one more and try and move your feet. Good, try it off a bounce, that's perfect. So if you can't catch it right off the wall, give it a bounce and you can get your feet in place to catch the ball with your straight arms and your hands together. Okay, so the next drill we're gonna do for underhand passing adds a little bit of movement. For this drill, we're gonna do lateral shuffles left and right and catch the ball in front of us in our athletic stance with our arms together and our wrists together. All right, Rowan, you wanna try this one? Okay, so face me. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to your right first and I'm gonna throw it that way. So you're gonna shuffle and then we're gonna throw it and catch and try and keep those arms straight and pass it back. And this time I'm gonna go to your left and pass and keep those arms straight. Perfect, now back to the right and catch and back to me and back to the left and catch. And what this drill focuses on is the movement through volleyball and making sure that your feet are planted and your posture is correct with those knees, hips, and ankles flexed and your arms straight. You can also do this against a wall if you don't have another person with you. Instead of throwing straight, you would just throw on a bit of an angle. So if I was doing this at home, I'd throw a bit to the side, I'd move my legs and still catch it in my athletic stance. Do you wanna give it a try? Okay, and remember, if you can't catch it directly off the wall, you can let it bounce once and then move to the position to catch it, okay? Good, and then make sure you catch with those arms straight. So try it once on the way back. Great, good job, Rowan. Okay, and the next drill we're gonna do is very similar, except you're going to face your back to your partner. You're gonna jump and turn and you're gonna move your arms to catch the ball whichever way the ball is going, okay? So row and turn around, and I'm gonna say turn, and when you turn, I'm gonna throw the ball and you're gonna catch it, okay? Turn, and I'm gonna throw it, and arms straight, good. Now turn back around again, turn. There we go. Now this one's a little bit trickier against the wall, but you can do it. Um, you can throw it behind you, or above your head, and we're gonna try and catch it, okay? Think we can do it? Okay, so we're gonna throw it back, turn, and catch. Or you can throw it under your arm, turn, and catch. And again, you can catch it off one bounce or two bounces if that's easier for you. you find it? Good job. Okay, do it one more time. And turn. Good, and then get into your athletic stance. Great job. Okay, for our next progression, we're gonna move to do the same drills, but with an actual volleyball. So you're actually gonna bump the ball this time. So again, remember your, can you hold that for me for a sec? So remember your athletic stance, knees are bent, hips are flexed, ankles are flexed, your weight is forward on the balls of your feet, your wrists are together, your thumbs are in line, and you're able to move your body side to side. Okay, so we're gonna do the same three drills, stationary, lateral movement, and turning with bumping the ball. Okay, you ready? Okay, we're gonna start with stationary. So Rowan's gonna bend her knees, get her arms ready, wrists together, straight arms, and she's gonna just bump it back to me. Great, ready? I'll do it one more time. Great job. Now, with this, you can also do this on the wall. So you will just toss the ball to the wall and then move your feet and bump it. If that's too tricky, you can let it bounce once, get your feet in position and bump it back to the wall. You wanna give it a try? Okay. Great job. Good. 
Okay. Next, we're gonna do some lateral movement with bumping. So we're gonna first go to your right, and then we're gonna go to your left, okay? Wrists together, arms straight. Good try, okay. We'll go this way now. Good job. Now you always wanna make sure you're contacting the ball right on your forearms, okay? So keep those arms really straight while you're doing it. We'll try this way again. Great job, okay? And one more time this way. Good. And again, this one can be done against the wall, just throwing the ball off to the side a bit, moving your feet, and passing the ball. You wanna try that one? It's okay, go again. Good job. All right. The last one we're gonna do again is the jump turn. So Rowan's gonna face away from me. When I hit the ball and say turn, she's gonna turn around, find the ball, make sure her feet are planted, and bump the ball back to me. Rowan, are you ready? All right, turn. Great job. Okay, we'll do it again. Are you ready? Turn. Good job. All right, again, this one is a little bit harder against the wall, but we can try it. You can throw it over your shoulder. It's probably easier to let it bounce once with this one, so we'll throw it over once, let it bounce, and then bump it back up. Do you wanna try that one? Okay, don't throw it too hard though. Turn. Great job. So all of these can be done at home with another person or at home on your own if you do have a wall with lots of space. Okay, the next skill we're going to work on is volleying or overhand passing. Again, we're in an athletic stance with this, so our feet are apart, knees are bent, hips and ankles are flexed, and we're making a triangle with our hands. So you should be able to see the triangle between your index finger and your thumbs. Can you show me your triangle? There we go, and that triangle gets positioned on top of your forehead. The motion of volleyball is almost catching a ball, bending your knees a bit, straightening your arms and pushing it back out. So we're gonna start the first drills with catching and getting that hand positioning. Okay, so we're gonna go down on our knees here and we're gonna make our triangle between our index fingers and our thumbs. Rowan has a bit of a smaller ball because her hands are smaller than mine and it'll be good for her to learn with a bit of a smaller ball. If you only have a volleyball or a small ball, you can use either, whatever you have at home. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our triangle, we're gonna put it over the ball and we're gonna try and lift the ball by holding it in our hands, bring it up to our forehead, and bring it back down. Release our hands, put your triangle back on, lift it up, and bring it back down. So this is allowing you to feel the pressure of the ball and the contact of the ball between your fingers. Do you wanna show us again how you do it? So find your triangle, bring it up, and then put it back down. And as you can see when Rowan's doing this, she's keeping her hands fully on the ball and she's bringing it right up on top of her forehead. Great. Now that we know our hand and body positions for volleying, we're going to now move to a standing position. So we're going to do it stationary first, holding the ball with our triangle above our forehead, bending our knees and we're gonna catch the ball and then push it out as if we were volleying it, okay? So I'm gonna to toss the ball to Rowan. When you're tossing the ball, make sure you're tossing it above their forehead, but a little bit forward. Okay, are you ready? So we're gonna to toss, catch, and push it back up. Great job, okay? We're gonna do it again. Bend those knees, catch, and push it up. Great job. Okay, from there, we're gonna move again into some more movement. So we're going to do lateral, side to side, with catch, and release. Are you ready? Okay, so we're gonna move to the left and then the right. Okay, so your hands are up and ready, your knees are flexed. So we're gonna go this way, catch and push it up. Good. And then we're gonna go this way, catch and push it up. Great job. We'll do one more on each side, okay? Ready, up. And that's what happens when it's a bad toss. So make sure it is in front of the forehead for the child who's catching the ball. Okay, so we'll go this way and push it up. Great. With this one again, you can do it against the wall. 
This smaller ball is not as bouncy, so it's a little bit harder, but we're gonna toss it high, move our feet, get in your position, and push it up. Okay, Rowan's gonna give it a try. Okay, try it again. Give it a good toss. Good. All right, one more time. Toss it up, move your feet. Great, and then push it back up. Good job. So again, either of these drills can be done with a partner or with a wall. Okay, now as we progress, we're going to try and volley the ball. So what's different from catch and release to volley is the movement of your arms is a little bit faster. So after you catch, you're gonna move your arms a little bit faster to release the ball. You're still going to maintain that athletic stance with your knees bent, hips and ankles flexed. You have your triangle above your forehead. You shuffle as needed to get under the ball, but it's gonna be a faster release with your arms to your target. All right, again, this can be done against a wall or with a partner. You can even do this one to yourself if you just wanna practice moving the ball in front of your head. We're gonna try it with Rowan and we're gonna do stationary and then we're gonna to move to some more lateral movement. So Rowan, we're just gonna do on the spot here. Okay, are you ready? Hands up, knees bent a bit, and here we go. Good, good. Now we're gonna try and move it a bit faster so you can actually volley it, so speed it up, okay? Good. And she caught that in the perfect spot right above her forehead and she sped up her arms to release the ball. Great job. Good, and that one was just a little bit too far forward, so she's gotta make sure she gets underneath the ball a little bit. It might have been my toss, so again, you have to make sure the tosses are right above the forehead. Good, okay, one more. Good, okay, so that was the stationary, and again, based on the toss, she still may need to move her feet a little bit to get that ball right over her forehead. We're gonna go side to side a little bit, so lateral movement, I'm gonna start this way, okay? You ready? Good, okay. Keep your hands strong and your fingers wide, okay? We'll go this way. Good, and we'll do one more that way. Good stuff, okay? Volleying is a bit trickier of a skill, so if you're not ready to progress to moving a little bit faster with your arms, you can always catch and release and do it a little bit slower. Okay, now we'll try against the wall. So again, in front of you, move your feet and push it up. Okay, give it a try. Good. And if you need to, do one more where you catch it a little bit before you release it, okay? Good, and release it now. There. So you can progress to the faster movement where you're actually volleying the ball and it's not sitting in your hands too much, or you can just move, keep it in that position, catch and release. Whatever, wherever you're at, um, you can progress from there. Our next skill we're gonna work on is underhand serving. So you first you have to figure out if you're left-handed or right-handed. I am left-handed. Rowan, you are? Right-handed. Right so it's going to look a little bit different from when I serve the ball to when Rowan serves the ball. You're going to keep your hand that you're serving with. So for me, it'll be my left. For Rowan, it'll be her right in a fist. This fist is what's going to be contacting the ball. Your opposite hand is going to hold the ball out in front of you at about hip height and you're going to use your dominant hand. So for me, it's my left. For you, it might be your right. You're gonna swing your arm back, step forward with your opposite foot and contact the ball in that low position, moving in a forward motion, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're just going to serve lightly back and forth to one another and try and keep it controlled. So I'm gonna hold the ball in my right arm. I have my left arm ready. My fist is closed, it's kind of nice and flat, so it'll make good contact with the ball. Your eyes should be on the ball the whole time. So I'm gonna step forward with my right foot, swing back, and pop it up. Rowan's gonna catch it, and then she's gonna do the same. So she's gonna hold it in her left hand, she's got her right hand with a nice fist, she's gonna step forward and pop it up. Great job. And what, one thing you need to remember is to keep that arm straight when you're doing it. So we're gonna try one more time. We're gonna step forward and pop it up. Rowan's got it in her left hand. She's swinging with her right. Great job. 
Again, this can be done with partners or it can be done against the wall where you serve and catch the ball. So if you're facing the wall, I have my hand in my ball, my right hand, my left hand is ready. Step, pop, and catch. Eventually you can progress to bumping the ball after you serve it off the wall. Okay. Great job. And she caught it. Good job. Now that we've learned some of the fundamental skills for volleyball, we're going to look at a couple more technical drills that mimic movements that will occur in a volleyball game. So we're going to be moving backwards, we're going to side shuffle, and we're going to be moving forward because in a volleyball game you're never standing still for long. So Rowan's going to show us how she first back pedals, side shuffles, moves forward to pass the ball. Great job. And then we're going to do it the opposite way. So she's going to back pedal, side shuffle, move forward, and pass the ball. Great job. Again, you can do this with a partner. You can also do it against the wall and move side to side and pass. So we won't be able to do the back and forward and side shuffling together for this one, but if she wanted to do a forward motion, she could do a lighter toss, move forward to the ball, and pass from there. If she wanted to do a backward motion, she might toss it a bit higher, back up, and pass from there. So toss it a bit higher, okay? Let it bounce and back up. Good job. So basically, if you're moving forward, you want a lighter toss, so you move your feet forward. If you want to work on back pedaling, a higher toss, and then lateral movement side to side. You always want to make sure the contact is with two hands, your arms are straight, and your wrists are together. Now we're going to do the same movements with the overhand pass or volley, okay? So Rowan's going to show us again how she back pedals, side shuffles, moves forward, gets in her position to volley. Great. Now backs up again, side shuffle, moves forward, and volleys. And sometimes that will happen. <laughs> All right. So this, you can progress to more difficult movements or more difficult touches. So if you are backing up, side shuffling, coming forward, I can toss it higher which can make it a bit more difficult. I can toss it, go back again to the side. I can toss it more to the side. So there's more movement involved, which makes it a little bit difficult, but you still need to try and get there, plant your feet, the ball over your forehead, and push it up. So it's either a catch and release or a volley. Now, Rowan is going to decide whether she's going to bump it or volley it with the same movement. Are you ready? Okay, so back pedal, side shuffle, and you can either bump or volley. Good, okay, back pedal, side shuffle, and volley. Great job. Again, this can be done against the wall, can be done with a partner, whatever you have available, you can practice the skills. Now we're going to try a challenge that anyone can try from home. You just need a ball and lots of space with nothing breakable. This challenge is keeping the ball up for 15 seconds with as many touches as you can get. So make sure you're counting your touches during the 15 seconds. You can either bump or volley. Rowan and I are going to start with volleying today for our 15 seconds. Are you ready? All right, let's go. Good job. For our cool down, our goal is to relax our muscles that we used for volleyball. So we're going to start by taking some deep breaths. So we're going to take a deep breath in and bring our hands above our head. 
and breathe out and bring your hands down. Breathe hands up again, deep breath in and hands down, breathe out. And this will help to bring your heart rate back down to where you want it. Next, we're gonna do some static stretching. So we're gonna start by kneeling on here. We've used our wrists a lot for volleyball. So we're gonna stretch out our wrists. We're gonna start with our hands forward and go in little circles. One way and then the other way. And then we're gonna put our hands out to the side and lean one way and then the other way. And point your fingers back towards your body and you can sit back towards your heels. Don't go too far if you feel it pulling too much, just until you feel a little bit of a stretch. We're then gonna do doggy paws. And put your hands down. And again, with this one, don't stretch too far if you feel too much of a pull, just until you get a light stretch. Now we can sit up, interlace your fingers and do a little bit of a roller coaster one way and a little bit of a roller coaster the other way. Okay, from there, we're gonna stretch our neck because you're constantly looking up when you're playing volleyball. So we're gonna start looking at your chest to stretch the back of your neck. And then we're gonna look up and put one ear to one shoulder. So let's start with our right ear to our right shoulder and hold your opposite arm out to the side. Each of these stretches should be held for 30 to 60 seconds. And then we're going to use our left ear to our left shoulder and reach your right down arm out. Okay, next we're going to do a shoulder stretch. So for this one, you're going to sit, your hands are going to be behind you and your fingers are pointed towards the wall behind you. You're going to take your chest and try and push your chest forward and you should feel this stretch in the front of your shoulders and across your chest. Okay? You can either straighten your legs out like Rowan is or you can bring them in and keep your knees bent. And the goal of this one is to try and push your chest forward so you can feel the stretch through the front of your chest and your shoulders. The next stretch we're going to do is a calf stretch. For this one, you're going to go on your hands and you're going to put your legs behind you. Okay? So one foot out and hook your other foot on top. And this one stretches your calf muscle, which is the lower muscle on the back of your leg. Can you feel it? Yeah? And then we're going to switch legs. All right, good job. So these are both large and small muscles that we've used throughout the drills we've done for our Volleyball fun Fundamentals video. Good job, Rowan. This concludes our Volleyball Fundamentals video. We hope you have enjoyed this video, learned some new skills, and one day you might be inspired to start playing volleyball. Thank you for your help today, Rowan. See ya. Wow, you all did amazing. Volleyball is such a fun sport to play with friends. For our final sport on Thursday, you're gonna be playing a sport that uses bases and a bat. You all did such a great job today. I can't wait to see you on Thursday.